Are you ready to meet your new Creative Warnings Nashville host? I hope you are. We're on, we're on theme and we're on brand. Um, I think it's really appropriate that um, Christy Vergona, our chief sunshine officer, our CSO, is going to be your new Creative Mornings host. Everyone, please welcome Christy with some jazz hands. Please welcome Christy with some spirit fingers. Um, get an extra cup of coffee, sit down, you're gonna need it, cause we're gonna spend a few minutes just like getting to know Christy. This is about to get fun. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Are you having fun yet? You can I, be honest. I've been having fun since 7 a.m. Okay, she's lying. By fun, she means thinking a lot about what's about to happen but i've made sure to prepare some interview questions oh. that are guaranteed to throw you off your game love it yeah Try the fire. that's when you're best um but i would just love to tell everybody how much i love christy as a friend and how much i respect her as a creative professional she's one of the coolest people if you've been to creative mornings you've probably met christy and she was the obvious choice to take this over. I was so, so pleased that she wanted to. Um, Christy, the people need to learn things about you, okay? So first of all, where are you from and what's your sign? I am an Aquarius, January 24th, and I was born in New York, but did most of my growing up in Atlanta. Okay, that was pretty concise. I'm not prepared with a second question. Can you tell me some Aquarius things about you? Do you know those things? I know them, but honestly, a lot of the time I don't feel like they sort of match me. The one that matches the most is that you have like chaotic creative energy and you love animal print. The first horoscope I ever read for <laughs> myself was in like a 17 magazine. So it involved my, my fashion choices. And I was like, yes, I am leopard print. But otherwise it's a lot of stuff about like being aloof, which is the farthest thing from how I exist. So yeah, you're not aloof. Dude. I don't. Yeah, mm -mm. I think aloof is the worst thing you can be. To be you think right. it's the worst thing I you do, can be? I do. I don't understand Ooh, the urge, take. the urge of coolness. Why would you be cool when you can be excited? And why would you be cool when you can be this hot? Speaking for myself. Truly, it is very toasty here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's warm under the lights. That's yeah. true. That's With why I wore layer. a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So what do you do for work? What's the deal? I am senior designer and illustrator at Hester and Cook, which is a small business based in Nashville. So it's kind of like if William Sonoma and Paper Source had a baby. So I get to design things for parties and tabletop and stationery. And I spend a lot of my time drawing and painting, which is good. Uh, yeah. Right now I'm doing some crafting for window display. So I was making paper mushrooms all day yesterday. Very earthy. So the, your Earth Day, your sorry, your work day work was day making was day. paper mushrooms. Yes. And it was yesterday. Earth Day. That's earthy. Yeah. Yeah. Day work day. Okay, cool. Um, what do you like about making art then? Like, what do you love about painting? I know that's a weird question. It's, oh, it's going to sound very vain. Um, there's something to starting with nothing. And then you have a thing at the end, whether it's like painting or crafting or just the blankness that you get to see become something else is really cool to me. Yeah, that is really cool. Yeah. You know, that, it strikes me that that's kind of what happened in this room today. Like we walked in and it was an empty room. I mean, can you tell how white it is in here? I mean, it's an infinity wall. It is, it tries so hard to be empty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we just popped up. That's what's fun about creative mornings. Couch in the void. You're qualified, girl. To be on the couch in the void. Yeah, you're okay. qualified. Um, okay, so let's talk about CM a little bit. Yeah. I'm curious. I didn't prepare her for any of these questions. It's kind of unfair, but what do you like about Creative Mornings? Like, what do you love about CM? It could be anything. Um, well, I'm one of those people that you mentioned who moved to the city and came to Creative Mornings because I had lived in New York before and never got to go. I just didn't have a job that sort of lent itself to that. So one of the first things I did when I got here was finally get to go to Creative Mornings. And that's how I met a lot of people I know in this city. So oh. I'm super grateful for that. Yeah, that's and good. And yeah, some of the funniest moments and definitely the most laughter before 10 a.m. have happened yeah. <laughs> during creative morning. Let's talk about um, it. Like, what are creative morning's memories that stand out to you? I mean, you already mentioned Ruben's terrible story that led him to us being our volunteer. I believe there was poo involved. Do you remember 100%. what that story was? No, no, my story involved. Yours involved. That's right. The white pants, a classic. There were white um, pants. <laughs> so... 
But oh my god, what was Ruben's then? I don't remember what his yeah, story he's, was. He's a wild bird. Can so you think of could be anything? Okay, but, can you think of like one of those connections that came out of CM, like a person that you met through Creative Mornings? Yeah. That you're still buds with? Um, I don't count. Yeah, uh, you stole my answer. So, I mean, obviously you, Kristen, Maria. Maria is actually uh, the reason I have the job I have now. So I was having like a really nasty day and one of my main freelance clients had just put the stop on everything. So my main income was done. And I used to work as like a calligrapher for weddings. And so wedding season was also over. It was like end of summertime. So it was like, cool, no money happening. And so it's on like a bad day. And I met up with Kristen and Maria. And I'd mentioned that, um, you know, I was just like freaking out about work stuff. And Maria's like, oh, um, there was a job posting. And I think you'd be really perfect for it. And it was the, the job I have now. And I had already knew that it was a posting, but I didn't think I was qualified for it. So I did not apply. But to be polite, I was like, oh, I did not know that. Thank you for sharing, Maria. And she's like, oh, well, I'm going to text you this link right now. Sounds like you. Sounds like you. You better apply. And so I literally only applied to this job because I didn't want to lie to Maria about not doing it. <laughs> and that is how I ended up where I am. Okay. Yeah. So Creative Mornings taking Creative full mornings credit for your employment. For keeping a roof over my head. Okay. Really pleased about yeah. that. Um, thanks, I, Maria. Thanks, Maria. I have some random questions for yeah. you. Um, what's your favorite t shirt? <laughs> Of mine or that yeah. I've ever seen? Uh, well, either one, I guess. <laughs> Leave it to Christy. She always yeah. takes that question to a different place. Um, We're going to get rid of these signs. I have a bright gold t-shirt, and it's screen printed in red of two women dancing with a shrimp. That is made by a girl I know from college, my friend Deandra's company, Sonic Yonix. Sonic Yonix. Hashtag Sonic Yonix. Sonic Yonix dot Sonic. Sonic Yonix. It's uh, fun and feminist, and it's run by two brown women. And yeah. But yeah, it's two ladies dancing with a shrimp, and it's very strange, and I always get asked about it. Okay, that's a pretty good answer. Yeah. Okay, what's your favorite pen? Uh, Pentel brush sign pen, if I'm using that, or if I'm doing calligraphy, I like uh, Browse E65 nib or uh, Hunt 101. Hunt 101. Hunt 101. Did you know that the biggest calligraphy supplier in the country is just outside of Nashville? Yeah, everybody knows that, Christy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Nerd alert. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Um, that was a much more entertaining answer than I uh, uh, prepared for. And we're over time now. No, yeah, just kidding. You're talking to a girl who spent $100 at the post office yesterday. Spent a lot of, spent a lot of mail. <laughs> so, <laughs> I know that. Um, okay. Another random question. I want you to think. I hope you have, I, hope, I don't know how far back you're going to think for this one. All right. Who was your first love? Ooh. Um, my first, so my first TV crush was Sean Hunter of Boy Meets World or the green slash white Power Ranger. I love a boy with long hair who's broken. So really set myself up for success there. Uh, Scary Spice also had some very special guest appearances. Oh, in yeah. My young loves. Um, Again, big hair, not as broken. But. So different from me. <laughs> scary Spice was literally the scary one for me. No, she's <laughs> She's just taking care of you. Yeah, she's just, no, that's the problem. She's too much woman for me. Yeah, I am. Um, later, as like a grown person, she played uh, Mimi when I saw Rent. And it was like very weird for my brain to be like, childhood crush, you're being so sexy. It was very confusing. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> uh, amazing answer. Yeah. Um, okay. If you had to watch a single movie genre for the rest of your life, what genre would you watch? You think on that. We're just getting to know Christy, yeah, folks. Yeah, my tentative answer of musicals, because if I'm stuck watching one movie genre for the rest of my life, I'm probably depressed. And I think it'd be harder to be depressed with, like, a lot of dance in front of me. <laughs> so dance is the genre? Dance as a genre. It's just really bad movies that involve dance to, like, learn about yourself. Okay, or, fantastic. So yeah, we're talking musicals, showgirls? Musicals. Or musicals yeah. oh that's pretty good have you seen hamilton we're not going to spend the rest of the time talking about hamilton i have i have seen hamilton that was a fun one okay not alone um okay we're running up against our time but i have a lightning round lightning round yeah i prepared for this i did not more so than i prepared for my own farewell speech <laughs> um okay 
I've got, count them, six lightning round All right, so first questions. thing that comes to mind? Yeah, first thing that comes to mind. Okay. Okay, cake or ice cream? Cake. Cake. Wow, she did that lightning fast. Of the and cheese variety. Cheesecake. I guess that's cake. That's like, yeah, it's cake. Who said that's not? I don't know. I was just thinking. I'm just trying to evaluate your answers for their level of uh, correctness. Popcorn or candy? Popcorn. Me too. Absolutely. Savory. Can't beat it. Smell it right when you come in the door. Ugh. Cannot buy it. Uh, are hard-boiled eggs good or bad? Good. <laughs> you had to think about it. No, I'm going to say good. Yeah, I think they're good. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to eat it by itself. No, but you can. Pocket snack. Okay. So <laughs> Carry an egg with you. <laughs> that, that's what's in your pocket. If I had them, but I'm a girl, which means my clothes don't have pockets. Yeah. They, they're not kind to us. That sucks. Matriarchy. Okay. Bagels or donuts? Bagels. That was easy. Obviously. I think that's my answer cheese, too. Everything. Lost. We have a lot of brand design assets around donuts here at Creative Mornings Nashville. I think donuts are cuter, but bagels, it's more of a meal. Yeah. And ever since Keisha taught us how to make our own locks at whatever month that event was, it's happened at least three times. Oh, yeah. A lot. Y'all, a lot of fish in my house. If you haven't taken a look at it, go to our Watch website. It, Watch the March video. It's the most recent video on the website right now with Keisha Hay. She's teaching us how to make an amazing breakfast with locks that you can cure yourself at home. You know, that sounds like a lot. And frankly, it kind of is. Honestly, was intimidated before I did it. But you can do it. Christy did it. Um, Still alive, did not get sick. Yeah. Yeah. The biggest fear Raw salmon at home. Fish. What a day. Yeah. All right. I got two more. Lightning, lightning. Aisle seat or window seat? Window. Yeah, me too. For sure. For sleeping. Yeah. What are we like? I'm on a business trip. How many times am I planning to go to the bathroom? I'm not. Yeah. I want to see out the window. Don't be weak. Okay. Rock, paper, or scissors? Scissors. Oh, I'm so sorry. You lose. It's rock. No, it's not. No, it's it's scissors, actually. Oh, my gosh. I just remembered something, y'all. They can create. They can destroy. I listened to an amazing episode of This American Life mm -hmm. where Sotheby's and Christie's were pitted against each other for a $20 million account. And the way that the art collector who was selling his art collection decided whether Sotheby's or Christie's got the business was by making them play rock, paper, scissors. This really happened in like the late 90s, I think. The interviews are fire. This American Life. That's wonderful. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was pretty great. Yeah. Um, Fun fact, Christie's spells their name the same way I spell my name, which very few Christie's do. So the one time I got to go to Christie's auction house, I 100% stole a lot of branded napkins. Okay. <laughs> do you still have any? I do. Silver foil press, they're gorgeous. That's evidence, and you just told the world. Statute of limitations. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm so excited for what you're about to do. Christy has been helping me for the last few months behind the scenes, and I'm just so excited to finally transition to behind the scenes myself, um, slash just take a nap. Um, but I'm so excited for everything that you're gonna do with everyone. You have the biggest heart of just about anyone that I know. Um, you're not our chief sunshine officer for nothing. You brighten everyone's day. You have so much energy. You are, I think, the human embodiment of the Creative Morning spirit. And Creative Mornings Nashville is losing like kind of a fun guy, certainly a hottie, 10 out of 10, um, but gaining, I think, one of the best hosts that any Creative Mornings chapter has globally. I'm really, really excited to see what you do. And I love you. Thank okay. You. That was incredibly sweet. It's yeah. Not in any way equivalent to everything you've done for us. But now that you don't have to work anymore, oh! you could do whatever. Skip work. Okay. So when you hear that pop in the background here in a few minutes, you'll know why. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, this looks expensive. I'll like never almost maybe even like $15, $20. I'm Ooh. very excited. Oh my God. I'm going to cry, you guys.